Hey guys, Brian Rhodes again. Alright, we're going to do another tutorial today, another spray paint piece. Um, this time, the last one was planets, galaxy, space, whatever you want to call it. This one we're going to do tropical beach scene. We're going to do the sunset moon, we're going to do some palm trees, we're going to do some water. You'll get to see how I do, one, how I do my water. Um, Let's get started with it. Alright, first I'm going to put down some white. And then I'm going to put... I'm going to put yellow down. And we're going to put some marigold down. Put some orange down. And last but not least, we're gonna put some black. Down. Now I'm gonna take a piece of paper here. I'm gonna lay it, set it down on there. We're just gonna drag it across, just like that. Drag it across. Word. Doesn't matter. Alright, we're going to seal that up. That's right, we're using flames. Yeah, I'm getting back. <laughs> seal that up some, and we'll kill the spider. Look! <laughs> Come He's on, scared little dude, you can make it. He's you can scared make it. the death of spiders. Come on! I can't believe you've got your finger that close. You to can it. make it. Come on, come on. All right. All right, he's gone. He made it. And I will tell you, I am scared to death of spiders. Yes, he is. So I just created, one, did one of the most humane things I've ever done in my life. I let the little dude live. So for all you extreme animal lovers out there, I, myself, I love animals. I just don't like spiders. I let him live. So give me some credit for that one. All right, we're going to take our lid. I'm going to put that down right there, just like that. Now, we're going to take our orange, if I can find it again, right here. And we're going to fill all this in. Around our Sunset there, the sun. I'm gonna fill the entire sky in with orange. Just like this. Alright. Now we're gonna take the white first. Here's the tricky part. You've got to have your can. You can't directly aim your nozzle at the edge of your can, at your lid here, or you'll get too much overspray. You kind of want to aim the nozzle at an angle here, and you're just going to kind of put a little bit of white overspray here. My white is acting up here. So I'm going to put down a little more orange to cover that up. Right in here. Okay. And then you go back in with your yellow. Do that same thing over the white. You just want a little glow. Take my orange because it looks like my yellow was wanting to act up a little bit too. Just cover, touch up those spots there. Alright, now you can take your lid off. Set that wherever you want, doesn't matter. 
might put it actually right there. Now, we're going to take our white, we're going to create the water. You need a light source. So put down your white first. Then you're going to go in with your yellow. We're just going to put that down. Doesn't got to be perfect. Then we're going to go in with a little bit of marigold. Go over the top of that. We're going to go back in with our orange. Same that you had in the sky. We're going to go over that. Just like that. And then last, we're going to use the black. And we're going to go in over that. There. Just like this here. Now, pick you a piece of your poster board. Doesn't have to be the exact same width. Close, doesn't matter. But you want to keep a little bit of firm pressure down. But you're going to start right up here at the top, just like this. And you're going to go move it back and forth. Ever so softly. I'm not getting enough pressure here. Move it back and forth. Just like this. We're gonna go back, we're gonna do a little more in the middle. So we want it blended. Alright, you'll notice that you've got a little highlight there from your sunset. Now you can take any piece of cardboard, as you see, I've got a bunch of them here. Just take any piece you want and just rip out an edge. We're going to put some landform into this painting. And I think I'll actually use, yeah, I'm going to use this one right here. Take your black paint, you're going to lay that down. Well, before we do that, let's seal the paint. Let's make Let me sure get back over here. Dry so we don't get any overlap. Seal that paint up. Now we're going to put some land for it. You just set, get it to where you tore out there. Set that approximately where you want. And then you take your black paint and you just kind of, and you'll see you get a landform there. We'll do the same thing on this other side, but we're going to flip it over. And we're going to put one about right here. And now you've got another landform here. Now we'll do the same thing over here. Set that down. Same thing there. Flip it over. Same thing right there. Alright, so you've got your land forms now. Now we're going to seal the paint again. Put some palm trees in this. I use turpentine. Keep my nozzles, my brushes in. I use a fan brush. You can use any brush you like. I just this works best for me. Um, you can put it on a piece of uh, cardboard. You can put it on anything you want. What I do. This is on the table. I just spray it directly on the table. Get you a fair amount of black in there. Shake out the excess. And we're going to come down here. And we're going to create some palm trees. 
to get some more black. And let's set another one uh, about right there. Okay. We'll pick up a little more turpentine, soften that brush up. It'll spread the paint a little bit easier. Put down a little more black. Pick up some more black here. We're going to go on this side. Set a palm tree there. And let's put another one about right here. Okay, now we got to go back and put the leaves in. We need a little more black. Get a fair amount on your brush. And now you're just going to start putting the leaves in. Doesn't have to be perfect. Get this one going in here into the moon. Turpentine. Paint's wanting to stick on me a little bit here. Alright, there we go. Put a little more in here. Go up here. Put some more leaves in. Let's make this one a little more prominent. Get some more black paint. more to the other side okay, let's pick up some more Put this other one it's going to be overlapping because they're close together Paint. And we're going to go this other side here. Create a few more leaves over here. Okay. Stick it back in our turpentine so the brush will stay bristle on it. Malleable. And we're going to sign our name. Take this clear coat, cover it up here, and we'll sign our name over here. Need to seal the paint. So I wouldn't come over here too soon. I'm, I'm over here. I'm way over here. Sometimes that happens. Not a problem. Just blow it out. And we're done. There's you a sunset beach scene. Isn't it beautiful? Okay guys, let's go ahead and pull it up here. And you'll actually, this way you'll see how I've got it fastened to the table. I use tape. Especially when you're doing water, you want tape holding your poster board down or it will move as you do it. So, And show you a little close up of it here. And remember, as always, if you like what you see and you want to see more, remember hit that subscribe button. My goofy little mug down there that's where you subscribe. Make sure to hit the like button. If you have any questions or you simply want to comment, comment below and uh, I'll try to answer 
any comments that I get uh, or any questions you may have. Thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, I hope to have another one up uploaded soon. Thank you.